Good morning. My name is Rachel King. I'm an attorney at King Law Firm Attorneys at Law Incorporated in Marietta, California. We do wills, trusts, probate, and family law in California and in Arizona. And a couple weeks ago, I reached out to social media to find out what questions people had, what legal uh, scenarios did they have going on in their life that they would like answers to. So I've acquired this very long, very diverse list of topics, and we're going to be doing a series over the next few months of answering these questions or bringing this, these things up for debate or for conversation, everything from legal issues to different cultures and what uh, goes on in different cultures or that, that idea. So have my handy dandy list and today we're going to be talking about custody for dads. This is something that I think continues to reoccur because Years and years ago, and uh, quite for quite a while, when, or this is my opinion, women stayed home and they were the caretakers for the children. So when a couple got divorced, it was natural that because the husband was working, the mom, who was the caregiver, who was always with the children, would end up having more custody, more time with the children. And I believe that that was reflected quite a bit in custody arrangements and how the court would order custody. So now we fast forward to 2018 and it's a little bit different. Right now, uh, the courts have made huge strides and I think the legal system in general and society have made huge strides to understand and accept that both the mother and the father are equally important in a child's life. So we get, oftentimes it's presumed that we, or it is presumed that it's in the best interest of a child to have equal time with both mom and with dad, uh, you know, considering the work schedules and, and, and when people are, mom and dad are both available. So I think that at this point in time, excuse me, I'm going to move my chair. At this point in the, in time, it really is to have both or the children have a relationship with both parents as much as possible as long as it's a safe healthy relationship and given the different schedules now that moms work in a lot of households and dads work too so dad's rights um we have a lot of people that advocate for dad's rights and we have a uh, kind it still exists that people say that dads need don't have rights or dads need special rights attorneys my feeling is that when you see an attorney that says, advertises dad's rights or mom's rights, it's a marketing uh, thing. It's, it's a lot easier, I think, for dads to go into somebody that says that they're going to be particularly advocating for father's rights. Personally, at my firm, I don't advocate more for mom's rights or more for dad's rights. I really focus on my particular client's rights and with an understanding that we're going to be trying to reach an agreement where the kids get to have a relationship with both parents as long as it's safe. And sometimes it's more safe to be with mom more and sometimes it's more safe and better in the children's best interest to be with dad more. So we really look at the individual person. Uh, and I don't say I'm a father's rights attorney, nor do I say I'm a mother's rights attorney. I am my client's attorney. And so I'm looking out for their best interests, protecting their interests, and taking whatever situation we're giving it, and uh, maybe rounding the corners if we have uh, if we have some difficult situations. And I think if you are in a custody situation, what I would tell everybody that I meet is find an attorney that you're comfortable with. And if you happen to be a dad and you happen to be comfortable with an attorney that advertises being a father's rights attorney, wonderful. But you don't necessarily need to go and look for that you because the law really is changing and custody orders right now are really reflecting an equal timeshare uh, with both parents so that the children can get to know and maintain that father-child relationship or mother-child relationship uh, and morphing the or creating a custody agreement that works for the family. So if you have any questions or you would like additional information, you're welcome to reach out to my website, www.thelawyerking.com. As always, this should not be considered legal advice and nothing, uh, and this does not establish an attorney-client relationship. If you have any ideas for posts please reach us on facebook again the lawyer king we are on instagram twitter all of that i'd love to hear your ideas thanks so much talk to you soon